Have you ever wondered how an air fryer can make crispy golden fries without a single drop of oil? It almost seems like magic, but the secret lies in science. Air fryers have taken over kitchens worldwide, promising deep fried texture without the unhealthy grease. But is it really the same? And what's actually happening inside that compact humming machine? Let's take a closer look. Imagine a tiny high powered convection oven. The moment you turn on an air fryer, a heating element starts generating intense heat while a powerful fan circulates that hot air at high speed. This airflow surrounds the food from all directions, cooking it quickly and evenly. This is why air fried foods develop that satisfying crispy outer layer while staying tender and juicy inside. To really understand what makes air fryers work, we need to talk about the Maillard reaction, the key to creating that golden crispy texture. This reaction happens when heat causes proteins and sugars in food to break down and form new compounds, leading to a delicious crust. This is why grilled meat browns, why toast gets that golden surface, and why air fried food can still taste fried without the oil. Let's put this to the test. Here are two identical potato slices, one cooked in an air fryer and one deep fried. As you can see, both turn golden. But notice how the air fried one gets crispy without soaking up oil. That's because instead of being submerged in fat, it's just using hot air to trigger the same chemical reaction. Now, while an air fryer doesn't require oil, a small amount can make a big difference. A light coating of oil helps conduct heat, enhancing crispiness, but the beauty of air frying is that you need far less oil than deep frying. Just a teaspoon can do the trick. Inside the fryer, food sits in a perforated basket. This design is crucial because it allows air to move freely around the food, preventing it from becoming soggy. In a conventional oven, food often sits on a tray, and heat has to work harder to reach all sides. But in an air fryer, the combination of fast-moving air and even exposure ensures quick and efficient cooking, reducing the need for flipping or shaking. And here's another huge advantage. Speed. Because air fryers circulate heat so efficiently, they cook food much faster than an oven. Something that takes 30 minutes in an oven can often be done in 15 minutes or less in an air fryer. And because it's compact, it uses less energy and doesn't heat up your whole kitchen, making it perfect for warm climates or small spaces. But let's talk versatility. Air fryers don't just make fries and chicken wings. They can roast vegetables, bake cookies, reheat leftovers, and even cook proteins like fish and steak. Some models even come with extra features like rotisserie attachments, dehydrators, or dual baskets for cooking different foods at once. That said, air fryers do have limitations. They work best for dry foods and crisping surfaces, but they're not ideal for wet battered foods like tempura. Some models also have small baskets, meaning you may have to cook in batches if you're making food for a large group. Now, before we wrap up, here's a quick bonus tip for the crispiest air fryer fries. Soak your potatoes in cold water for 30 minutes before air frying. This removes excess starch, preventing sogginess and giving you the perfect crunch. So, is the air fryer just another kitchen gadget, or is it a true game changer? The answer depends on how you use it. But one thing's for sure, whether you're making fries, wings, or even reheating pizza, understanding the science behind it will help you get the best results every time. What's your favorite thing to cook in an air fryer? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to hit that like button if you found this helpful. Got a question about how something really works? Drop it in the comments and we might cover your topic in our next video.